what's happened to Coronet. For 1975, Coronet has new dimension, new style, and a whole new attitude. We've taken the luxury and comfort features of the big cars and fitted them to a convenient intermediate chassis, including hardtop, sedans, and wagons. The two-door hardtops, like this handsome Coronet Brome, come on a 115-inch wheelbase. Four-door models, like this Coronet Custom Sedan with a Brome package, come on a surprisingly roomy 117.5-inch wheelbase. The flowing graceful lines come from a longer hood and short deck. Large single headlights are mounted in a one-piece reinforced fiberglass panel. The result? A finished quality look. Our hardtops have a sheared trunk deck for a sophisticated look. Notice the youthful canopy roof. Or you can get this stylish formal halo roof. Both styles come in six different colors. There's more glass than ever before in our intermediates, including more glass at the top of the windshield. Wipers are 18 inches long. And notice the washer nozzles are mounted on the arm. Very effective. The handsome instrument panel with simulated wood grain trim includes gauges for engine temperature and alternator. But if you order a tachometer, you also get an oil pressure gauge and a low fuel warning light. Doors on hardtops are five inches longer than last year's intermediate Dodge. Makes it easier to get in and sit down. And the seatbelt retractors are out of the way. Like the interior, this cloth and vinyl bench seat is optional, or you can get the bucket seats as standard. Here are some interesting new items. A right outside mirror with a control on the instrument panel. And for the first time on our intermediate cars, you can order a...
A million and a half compact cars ago, Dodge started meeting the needs of the small car buyer. They wanted dependable, economical transportation. But today, they want dependability and economy, with luxury and convenience added. Example, the chrome-plated grille, fender, and sill moldings, and an accent stripe add to the glamour. Used to driving only larger cars? You're in for a surprise when you open the door on our compacts. Room for six in the sedan and hardtops with their 111-inch wheelbase. Room for five in the 108-inch coupes. And what seating? Dart SE comes with bucket seats as standard with handsome crushed velour upholstery in parchment green or red. Or if you prefer, you can have this low-backed bench seat in the same materials and colors at no extra charge. Carpeting is plush crushed pile, and for an extra touch, pocket pouches on the seat backs for the convenience of rear seat passengers. This handsome simulated wood grain instrument panel uses gauges for alternator and engine temperature. And when you turn on the heater, you get quick, hot heat. 14% more heat than last year's cars. The seat belt system is improved. A vehicle sensitive inertia reel only holds you tight in severe vehicle stops. Plenty of room for luggage, and it's carpeted in the SE. What about the luxury items you have to feel? Things like handling. We have a fine reputation for the way our darts step into a corner with very little lean and sway, and our ride is a pleasant surprise. Even on rough roads, you get a gentle motion without the harshness you found in cars of a few years ago. And it's quiet. We accomplish this by adding insulation and noise deadening materials and by isolating the passengers from the engine compartment. Last year's panel was smaller and had pre-drilled holes in it. If a fastener worked loose, noise entered these holes. For example, this cup has a hole drilled in it. Listen. There aren't any holes in this cup. Hear the difference? Now, what about economy? Here's what our cars offer you. Electronic ignition, standard on every compact car we build. Your engine stays in tune longer, and that means economy. Choose from two gas-saving engines. Standard is the 225 cubic inch slant six. It's economical in both highway and city driving. If you need extra power for options or pickup, then you may be happier with our little 318 V8. A factor in Dart's economy is the rear axle. On most models in 1975, the standard axle with sixes has a ratio of 2.76 to one. Standard with eights is 2.45 to one. Last year before the energy crisis, the standard axle for sixes was 3.23 to one. That simply means, to make the wheels go around once, the engine had to turn 3.23 times. With our new economy axle for sixes, the engine only has to turn 2.76 times to turn the wheel once. Make a difference? You bet it does. Here's some optional equipment that can help make a difference in economy. Automatic speed control, never before available on our compacts. It maintains a constant speed on highways. Constantly accelerating and decelerating uses extra gas, available with V8s or 6s. To improve driving habits, you can order this fuel pacer system. When you feed your engine too much gas, a light in the turn signal goes on to warn you that fuel is being wasted. Here are some options that make a difference in luxury and convenience. Things like an electric rear window defroster to get rid of ice and snow, or a manually operated sunroof on two doors to let the sun in. Or to make room for, order the fold down rear seat package on our Dart Sport. Just drop the rear seat back and you've got a load space over six feet long for hauling fun things. Want a true two-door hardtop? Then order our Swinger. Need economical six-passenger convenience? Then check out our Dart sedan. For the sporty look, order the Dart 360 Sport. Luxury, convenience. Economy when you buy it. And economy while you drive it. That's what Dodge Compacts are all about.
extra care in engineering. It makes a difference in Dodge. The Dodge Charger Special Edition. Though it carries the proud name of Charger, this is a different kind of Dodge. It has a new look and a whole new philosophy. Short sculptured rear deck and a long hood with classic car appeal. Because it's a personal car, the Special Edition has details usually found only on luxury cars. All the materials are lush and rich. The standard bucket seats are covered with expanded vinyl over foam. Feels like leather. The bench seat comes in three different materials, including elegant crushed velour. Carpeting is deep shag. A new optional power seat lets you adjust the seat to your dimensions, even while driving. The new instrument panel is handsome as well as functional, with full instrumentation. You have gauges for the alternator, engine temperature, oil pressure, and fuel. There's even a low fuel warning light. Adding to the glamour are a number of convenience options. A right-hand mirror, controlled from the instrument panel. The security of power door locks. Power windows for letting in air even a manually operated sunroof for letting in sunshine. At night, you have five interior lights to see by. There's no dome light, so there's no glare. And to go with the mood, you can choose from five different radio and tape units, including a signal-seeking radio. Here's how much glass was added to last year's intermediate Dodge windshield, giving you a great view kept clear by 18-inch wipers with the washers mounted right on the wiper arm. An optional electrically heated rear window melts snow and ice in a jiffy. Big doors five inches longer than last year's intermediate cars make it easy for rear seat passengers to get in and out. Like the roof style, this one, the halo roof, comes in six colors. Or. Dodge offers this more formal Landau roof in seven different vinyl roof colors. As you'd expect with a personal car, a number of features are standard, including power steering, power disc brakes, automatic transmission, and a 360 cubic inch V8. The steel belted radial ply tires are also standard, and they're improved to give a smoother ride and better traction on wet roads. About the only way to tell how great the Charger Special Edition rides is to try it. One reason for the riding comfort is that this is a quiet car. To keep out engine and road noise, Dodge added about 143 pounds of sound deadening materials. Here's something else that adds to riding comfort, an air conditioner. And the Charger Special Editions air conditioner offers 27% more cooling capacity than former units with lap coolers and larger comfort. A higher capacity alternator comes with the air conditioner. And this year, you can order a powerful long life battery. Assures you good starts for a long time, especially when combined with Dodge's electronic ignition. 
good starting, sure, but more important, because there are no points or condensers to wear out, your car stays in tune longer. Want to save fuel? Then order the exclusive Fuel Pacer system. It can help you become a better economy driver. When you use too much gas, a light in the turn signal indicator reminds you. Do a lot of highway driving, then you'll appreciate the optional speed control. Maintains the speed you set. You get other fuel economy aids too. With the new standard 2.45 to 1 economy rear axle ratio, at any given speed in high gear, your engine will turn over about 10% slower than it would with last year's standard axle. The Dodge Charger Special Edition, a luxurious personal automobile. It's a new kind of Dodge. When you have a family like that, you need a car like this. The Plymouth Grand Fury Brougham. For decades, the full-size car has been the standard by which other cars were measured. Traditionally, they offered the most room and the most comfortable ride by far. They're the choice of one out of every four buyers because they offer great value. Here's why people like Grand Fury. Grand Fury offers people room. There's five feet of shoulder room, so the person in the middle doesn't have to ride with his arms draped over the other passengers. There's the kind of leg room a growing and squirming teenager can stretch out in. In some cars, that space in back would crowd the front compartment, not in Grand Fury. There's extra value in the options full-size cars offer, like a tilt and telescope steering wheel, a comfort on long drives. And of course, that's the major advantage of a full-size car. It's designed and engineered to make cross-country trips as effortless as cross-town jaunts. Has the ability to let you take the comforts of home.
new car dollar never bought more car value than it does with a 1975 full-size Dodge. Spacious, comfortable, quiet, luxurious, and sensibly priced. And isn't that what you want in your car? As for style, this is one of the newest in the industry. Smart looking and functional. The low belt line gives you a large glass area. Hidden headlights on the Brougham and Royal Monaco stay protected from mud and dirt until you turn them on. Inside, and notice how the door opens wide for easy entry. And notice you've got the space only a full-size car can give you. The shoulder room is more than five feet wide. Nothing gives you luxury like a full-size Dodge. This is the standard interior on the Royal Monaco Brougham. It even has the luxury of individual seat adjustment. A reclining passenger seat is standard on the four doors. Or choose the optional seat. It comes in rich velour and vinyl. And with it, you get deep shag carpet, which covers seat backs and the lower door panels. Now let's look at some of the extra touches you find in our full-size Dodge. If you choose air conditioning, and most people do, Dodge offers you one of the finest in the industry. Eight outlets, including lap and foot coolers, make the difference. You can even have automatic temperature control. And to add pleasure to your comfort, you've got the choice of five optional sound systems. Like to see the sky? Select the power-operated sunroof. With a Monaco four-door, you can get vent windows. Once you've had them, they're hard to do without. The glove box is in the middle, and there's a coin holder inside. The optional power deck lid release is in the glove box. It opens up a huge trunk, another feature of full-size cars you can't match. And if you overload it, the optional automatic height control will bring the car back to level. Dodge stresses easy service. This is how you change a fuse. Most instruments are accessible by just removing four screws from this panel. But with the sophisticated instruments of today, you may never have to. We use light emitting diodes in the optional warning system. Ever been driving down a highway and had your wiper washer fluid miss the mark? Dodge changed that by mounting the nozzles on the wiper arm. Here's an important item for today. It's a fuel pacer system. This light goes on when you're using too much gas. The optional speed control unit lets you set the speed you want, then remove your foot from the accelerator. Even Dodge's optional digital chronometer is unique. It's electronic, and the Swiss Observatory has certified it to be accurate to within a minute a month. That's what makes electronics so important. They're reliable. And that's why every engine Dodge builds in North America comes with electronic ignition standard. Your engine stays in tune longer, and electronic ignition helps spark plugs last longer. They're designed to last up to 30,000 miles under normal conditions when you use unleaded gas. That in itself is great. But see this plug? It comes standard on all 440 cubic inch engines. Our engineers designed it to last longer than ordinary spark plugs and its reliability that makes this brand new long life battery such a convenience. It comes standard with the largest engine and is available as an option with all others. Easy service is a feature of your standard automatic transmission. There is simply no recommended service under ordinary driving conditions. You even get more reliability in starting in 1975 with a new high speed starting motor on the 360, 400 and 440. It delivers up to 20% more starting power. All full-size Dodges give you power steering, power front disc brakes, and automatic transmission. Standard equipment. Dodge Monaco. Spacious, comfortable, quiet, luxurious, and sensibly priced. Extra care in engineering makes a difference in Dodge. Depend on it.
It's easy. No stooping, craning, or crawling. Trail Dust is a very civilized vehicle for the outdoorsman. Thinks of everything under the sun. Like a new sunscreen glass option for the rear quarter and lift gate windows to reduce heat penetration. Includes tinted front glass to cut down road glare. Need to pull a trailer? Easy. A new light duty trailering package for trailers up to 2,000 pounds gross weight and a new heavy duty trailer towing package and functional. 
with features like the popular hatchback style. Popular because of its wide open feeling. A generous trunk for loading with all kinds of fun things. Plymouth dealers have never offered anything like it before. It's low priced, as only a subcompact can be. The base model is the Arrow 160. For more style or luxury, there's an Arrow GS. And the Arrow with everything going for it, the Arrow GT. Just 13 feet, 11 and 3 tenths inches overall. On a very maneuverable and quick 92.1 inch wheelbase. Weight, 2,156 pounds. A ton of fun. But it's inside where people develop a real affection for Arrow. For starters, both the seats recline. That's standard on every model. And when you order a copper exterior on the GT, you get these special copper houndstooth body cloth inserts for the seats. The GS features distinctive door trim and handsome durable Richmond vinyl in black, white or blue with contrasting accents. The 160 model sports big, wide buckets and durable vinyl over deep foam padding. Spring-loaded seat back latches make it easy to get into the rear compartment, where you have a choice. A rear seat for people, or big carpeted trunk. There's a storage compartment for hiding things from outside eyes, and dozens of features with the same thoughtfulness. Like this unique command console on the GT. It houses an adjustable reading light, a door ajar light, a low windshield washer fluid light, and a dome light. The handsome instrument panel features a speedometer, a tachometer, fuel and water temperature gauges, and a lighted ashtray. And the center console houses ampere and oil pressure gauges, plus a handy coin holder. Look here, the wiper switch and window washer control, as well as the headlight dimmer, are mounted on the turn signal, just for convenience. And because we know more than one person will be driving the car, we made the steering column adjustable on every model. Arrow can be powered by the standard 1600cc engine, or the...
Your new car dollar never bought more car value than it does with the 1975 full-size Plymouth Grand Fury. Spacious, comfortable, quiet, luxurious, and sensibly priced. And isn't that what you want in your car? Start with the style because this is one of the newest among the big cars, smart and functional. The low grille sections, handsome and designed for better airflow to the engine compartment. The door opens wide for easy entry. And notice you've got the space only a full-size car can give you. The shoulder room is more than five feet wide. Nothing gives you luxury like a full-size car. This is the standard interior on the Brougham. Order it in six different colors or choose the optional seat. It has individual adjustments for driver and passenger, plus passenger seat recliner on four-door models. For some extra touches on your full-size Plymouth, how about one of the finest air conditioners in the industry? Cooling outlets for lap and feet help make the difference. It even dehumidifies, and you can have it with automatic temperature control. And to add pleasure to your comfort, you've got the choice of five optional sound systems. Like sun, moon, and sky? Then select a power-operated sunroof. With a four-door Grand Fury, you can get vent windows. The glove box is centrally located, and inside, you'll find a coin holder for convenience. The optional deck lid release is in the glove box. It opens up a huge trunk, another feature of full-size cars you can't match. And if you overload it, the optional automatic height control will bring the car back to level. You could change a fuse in your Grand Fury as easily as this, because easy service is stressed by Plymouth. Most instruments are accessible by just removing four screws from this panel. But with the sophisticated instruments of today, you may never have to. These little red diodes on the optional warning system tell if you're low on fuel or your battery needs attention. Ever had your wiper washer fluid miss the mark at high speed? Plymouth changed that by mounting the nozzles on the wiper arm. Here's an important item for today, a fuel pacer system. When you are using too much gas, this light goes on. This speed control unit automatically maintains the speed you want. Even Plymouth's digital chronometer is unique. It's electronic, and the Swiss Observatory has certified it to be accurate to within a minute a month. That's what makes electronics so important. They're reliable. And that's why every engine Plymouth builds in North America comes with electronic ignition standard. Your engine stays in tune longer, and electronic ignition helps spark plugs last longer. They're designed to last up to 30,000 miles under normal conditions when you use unleaded gas. That in itself is great. But see this plug, it comes standard on all 440 cubic inch engines. Our engineers designed it to last longer than ordinary spark plugs. And it's reliability that makes this brand new long life battery such a convenience. It comes standard with the 440 engine and is available as an option with all others. Reliability is a feature of Grand Fury's standard automatic transmission. There simply is no recommended maintenance under normal driving conditions. You get even more reliability in starting. Plymouth added a new high-speed starting motor on most engines. It delivers up to 20% more starting power. All Grand Furies give you power steering, power front disc brakes, automatic transmission, and steel belted tires. Standard equipment. Grand Fury, spacious, comfortable, quiet, luxurious, and sensibly priced. Extra care in engineering makes a difference.
The phenomenal rise of the import car market presents 1978's economy-minded car buyer with a confusion of choice. The number and complexity of import entries makes it very difficult for you to sort out the most important facts for presentation to prospects. That's exactly what this film helps do for you. Show you why you have a winner in this field with your 1978 Plymouth Arrow GT, the little car that's registered a great big hit with America. Let's get right to it and check out a major competitor of the Aero GT, the Toyota Corolla Liftback SR5. Two big things you have to sell against Toyota are the super lean burning MCA jet engines with ingenious fuel saving features and standard features that Toyota doesn't offer. On either the standard Aero GT 1600cc overhead cam four cylinder engine or on the optional Peppier 2000cc engine, which Toyota does not match, an extra intake valve is activated. When the throttle is almost closed, this third, or jet valve, feeds a high-speed stream of air into the combustion chamber. At the very same time, a regular mixture of fuel and air is entering through the regular intake valve. That high-speed air jet sets up a strong swirling pattern in the combustion chamber for rapid and even burning. When the engine operates at higher speeds, the third jet valve slows the entering air, enhances fuel economy, and cleans the exhaust gases. Aero GT models, with either the standard five-speed manual or automatic transmission, also have the exclusive silent shaft design. It is not available for Toyota or any other competitor. Unique counterbalancing shafts dampen engine vibrations normally associated with four-cylinder cars. This tilt steering column, standard for aero, lets your prospect adjust his driving position. No tilt column is available for Toyota Corolla liftback. Rich wood tone background gives a finished look to the Aero GT. The instrument cluster includes a speedometer, trip odometer, and tachometer. Fuel, temperature, alternator, and oil pressure gauges, and a lighted ashtray and cigarette lighter. By contrast, Toyota's instrument panel is ordinary, plain Jane. Aero GT's interiors are very special this year. New checkmate cloth for the reclining low back buckets is beautifully coordinated with the exterior paint color. Toyota's interior is the same old kind of interior that you're used to seeing in no frills import cars. Youthful, snappy, dual racing mirrors are standard for Aero GT, but are not available for the Corolla liftback. Aero GT sports standard color-keyed styled road wheels and raised white letter tires, which Toyota does not offer. In any case, Toyota's wheel treatment is antiseptically stringent. Of course, there will be people who will also be interested in Ford's new Fiesta Sport. That's the time to go over Aero GT's long list of standard conveniences. Fiesta doesn't even come close. Standard silent shaft jet engine features are exclusive to Aero. Aero GT's standard transmission is a five-speed manual with fuel-saving overdrive. And Aero offers an optional automatic transmission. Fiesta's only transmission is a four-speed manual. No overdrive and no automatic. Alternator and oil pressure gauges, standard for Aero not available to Fiesta buyers. A center console with coin holder is a convenience option for Aero buyers, but isn't available for Fiesta. And let's not forget the GT's overhead console with door ajar lights, a low windshield washer fluid warning light, swiveling map light, and dome light. Of these Aero GT standards, only the dome light is available on Fiesta. Power front disc brakes are standard for Aero GT, but not for Fiesta.
carpeted cargo space is an Aero GT standard. A rubber mat is standard for Fiesta. Tinted glass all around, standard for Aero GT, but not for Fiesta. Locking fuel filler door, standard for Aero, not available for the Fiesta. Nor will you find flipper quarter windows on the Fiesta. Very handy for quick, controllable ventilation. Sharp-looking dual racing mirrors. Standard for Aero. Not for Fiesta at any price. The Datsun B210GX hatchback is a tough competitor, but not so tough when you sell Aero GT's advantages, like contemporary flair and style that's lacking in the Datsun. The plain fact is that Datsun has been turning out the same-looking car for several years now. Inside, the Aero GT has 10 cubic feet more space than the Datsun for passengers to be comfortable in. Aero's adjustable tilt steering wheel is standard. Datsun doesn't offer one even as an option. It all means that Aero offers more comfort and convenience than Datsun does. Then, stack up Aero's 1600cc overhead cam four-cylinder engine against Datsun's smaller 1400cc four-cylinder, add Aero GT's silent shaft feature and third valve jet, and you come up with a powerful sales weapon. More power and quiet power. For another Aero bonus, mention Aero's greater maneuverability. A tighter turning circle, 32.8 feet to Datsun's 34 feet. Now let's sum all of this up. When you're selling the Aero GT against Toyota's Corolla hatchback, emphasize Aero's advanced jet engine and several significant standard appointments that are either optional or simply not available for Toyota. Against Fiesta, sell Aero GT's exceptionally long list of standard conveniences, from alternator gauge to bumper guard, from tinted glass to dual mirrors, and against that perennially tough competitor, the Datsun B210 hatchback, you have Aero GT superiorities in style, space, and power. Beyond Aero, for people looking for something new and exciting, there's the 1978 Sapporo. Check your PBBs for competitive superiorities you can sell and show prospects the Aero presentation film. The import car market is big, busy, and bristling with new entries, new claims, and confusion. Do yourself a favor by selling and demonstrating the advantages of your Plymouth Aero GT, loaded with a long, long list of standard extra value features to help you keep me and my Aero on the hit parade.